For everyone who's played Undertale, let's play a game. When leaving the crystallized cheese save point, what did you see in the next room? Was it A, Sans and his telescopes, B, an empty hallway, or C, a hallway with a grey door with a weird guy inside? Depending on your fun value in Undertale, these could all be correct. So basically, in Undertale, there is things called fun values, and what the fun value is, it's a number from 0 to 100 that gets assigned when Undertale first creates your save file. That doesn't mean if you reset it, it won't give you a new one. When it first creates your save file, it'll assign you this number from 0 to 100. And what this number does is, depending on certain values, it'll actually give you some different events or make you see different characters. I say that this number does control Undertale a little bit because it does give you a different playthrough of the game depending on which number you got, but the differences between them aren't too drastic. In this video I'll be going through every single fun value event, going through the characters that you meet, going through the phone calls, going through all of it, as well as discussing the lore implications of this and also connecting it to Delta in a little bit because there are some connections you can make. If you enjoy Undertale and Delta and related content, subscribe to the channel, it's totally free, you can change your mind anytime, and not many people do it. Without the way, enjoy the video. Wrong number song, fun value 2 to 39. The event that most of you would have seen, as is the most likely fun event to occur in the game, is the wrong number song. In Snowden, you get a phone call from a person looking for someone who starts with a G, but realises it's the wrong number and sings the wrong number song. The biggest lore implications of this is that the G could be referring to multiple characters, such as Gerson or Grilby, but it's most likely referring to W.D. Garster, a character that is exclusively revealed through the fun events. Tying this to Delta in for a second, this could be spammed him on the other end of the line uh, before it became corrupt from the neglect that Garster gave him, but I don't know who the we could be referring to, but that's just something interesting. Anyway, this is nothing more than just a song that could be tied to W.D. Garster. Sans is cool. Fun value 40 to 45. If your fun value was between 40 and 45, then you have a phone call from Sans. This occurs in Snowden and it's pretty much just Sans doing a play on the refrigerator running joke. There are multiple options depending on what you actually pick, so there's a bunch of combinations that you may not have seen on your first playthrough. Alpha's call, fun value 46 to 50. In the same place in Snowden, you could get a call from Alpha's asking to order a pizza. Take a look. The biggest thing established here is Alphys' personality way before you actually meet her. It shows off her awkwardness and love for anime, even though you're only in Snowden and you're not supposed to meet her for another hour or two. Nightmare Mode, fun value 56 to 57. If you have the fun value of 56 or 57, you'll have a different version of the icy word search puzzle, with the only difference being the fact that it's a snowman named Nightmare, with just the loveliest face. Gaster followers, fun value 61, 62, and 63. Depending on your fun value being from 61 to 63, you may have met one of the Gaster followers. These guys can be found in different parts of the Hotland, all grey and talk about WD Gaster and then vanish. Gaster follower 1 confusedly has a 50% chance to spawn when the fun value is 62. They spawn outside of Elevator L3 and resemble a small NPC called Ficus Licker found during the Sands dinner interaction. They talk about Asgore hiring a new royal scientist, and how Gaster was amazing, creating the core but tragically died when he fell into his own creation, then theorises his alphas will share the same fate. Gaster follower 2 appears in Fun Value 61, the 20% chance to spawn outside of Elevator R1. They resemble the scared donut guy found outside the spider bake sale, with a talking head instead of a donut. They talk about Alphys working faster, but Gaster vanishing without a trace, shattering himself across time and space, and how they're scared that they might disappear, and are holding a piece of him, and that's what might make him disappear. Ironically, they disappear when they say this, 
and it plays the same sound when the mystery man disappears, which you'll see later in the video. The third and final gust of follower has a 50% chance to spawn out of Elevator L2 if the fund value is 63. This design is its own original character, and talks about how irreplaceable Guster was, and how the way for Asgore to hire a new royal scientist made sense. They say that Guster's experiments went wrong, but cuts themselves off before continuing further, as they shouldn't gossip because it would be rude to talk about someone who's listening, suggesting that Guster has been torn across the entire universe and as a result, can hear all. Hey, so while I was editing, I actually learned more about Gaster Follower 3, and thanks to Starkill underscore YT on Reddit for pointing out that Gaster Follower 3 can also be found in the library of Deltarune. Now, this is extremely interesting. Uh, it suggests that maybe these followers are from the Deltarune universe and have actually been magically transported to the Undertale universe, giving remnants of themselves to tell Gaster's story. And I actually talk a little bit about this later in the video when I go to Gaster, but this is just really interesting to think about. Also subscribe to the channel. Sound test, fun value 65. The sound test is really interesting to me because I just want to imagine some random player whose first Undertale experience had this in it and them just being completely lost as it really doesn't depend what playthrough this is, it could occur. If your fun value was 65 and you're at that box save point in Snowden, after Papyrus has been fought, there is a 50% chance for the sound test room to appear when going into the fishing pole area. The menu contains four songs, Happy Town, Meat Factory, Trouble Dinger, and Gaster's Theme. You can listen to the first three songs, but upon clicking on Gaster's Theme, you cannot select another one. Once Gaster's theme is looped for a bit, it says thanks for your feedback, be seeing you soon, and then the game continues. What's interesting to me is how tonally different Gaster's theme is from the other three songs. Gaster's theme in the files is called muse underscore st underscore him, being music sound test him. I think this is interesting because in Deltarune, the first song you hear when creating your vessel at the start of the game is called another him. Fake hallway slash Gaster appearance, fun value 66. If your fun value is 66 when going past the room with the crystallized cheese, you may enter this hallway. It's a pretty odd hallway, with it serving no actual purpose to the game, and once you leave this hallway you can never go back. But, there is a 10% chance for a grey door to spawn, and if you enter this door, you'll meet with this person. He's called the Mystery Man, and when interacting with him he makes a shocked face and then disappears with this song. The song that plays is a sped up version of Gaster's theme, the second Gaster follower also makes his sound when vanishing. The fun value of being 65 of the sound test room pretty much confirms that Gaster's theme is referring to the mystery man that we see here. So I believe that all these fun values referring to this one character, that it has to be that this character here, the mystery man, is actually WD Gaster. Of course, that's not confirmed, it's just a theory, a game theory, but, you know, it seems most likely that this is WD Gaster. Clam Girl, fun value 80 to 89. If your fun value is 80 to 89, you would meet the Clam Girl near Napster Book's house. This character talks about her neighbor's daughter Susie, different ways depending on the ending and the time you've met her in the game. During the pacifist route of the game, Clam Girl will say how Frisk should become friends with Susie, but doesn't know where Susie is, but knows that fate will bring them together. If you kill Undyne, Clam Girl states that she senses a disturbance in the aura and you should leave Susie alone. In the post game of the pacifist route, if you go back to the Clam Girl, she'll say two different things based on if you spoke to her in the game or if you didn't. If you didn't, she says that she was going to tell you about her neighbour's daughter, but fate didn't want them to. If you did talk to her, she gives a speech and her neighbour's blessing. This would be the end of the interaction, but in the Nintendo Switch version of the game, with a fun value of exactly 81, in the true pacifist epilogue, Clam Girl will say how Frisk will meet Susie, and then meeting is fast approaching. Then a sprite turns grey and disappears with the same sound as the Mystery Man and the second Gaster follower. This implies that Clam Girl was a goner the entire time, and has a link to Gaster. 
What's more interesting is that Susie could be referring to Susie from Deltarune, as the Switch launch of Undertale was only a month and a half before Deltarune's PC launch on October 31st, 2018. Gornakid, fun value 90 to 100. Gornakid can be found if your fun value was 90 to 100, and you go to the dock right before Undyne throws spears at Frisk. They ask Frisk if they never thought about a world where everything's the same but you don't exist and the world just functions without them. Obviously referring to the fun values, as if your fun value was 0 to 89, you never would have met the Gonna Kid and everything was fine without them. If you have an umbrella on talking to them, it makes them feel better about not existing, but ask Frisk to forget about them. When you leave the interaction when giving them the umbrella and leaving the room, it sets the fun value to 0, meaning that you'll never be able to go back and see the Gonna Kid again. So, that was all the fun values in Undertale. I know that this topic has been done to death a little bit, honestly, I wanted to try talking about this and make my own video about it because it's honestly a really interesting concept. Thank you for watching this video and subscribe for more Undertale slash Delta videos, and I'll see you in the next video, peace out.